Hey guys, this is Hetu and welcome or uh, welcome back to ETL QA Labs. So guys, today we will discuss very important concept in data warehouse, right? So it's about the core thing that we are going to discuss. That is basically what is the data warehouse architecture, right? In your project or maybe it's in general, like what are the components we should have as part of our data warehousing project? Right, so that is uh, basically we are trying to cover. We will try to understand what are the different components and what are the upstream and downstream, uh, which systems are called upstream, which systems are called downstream, right? And what is the entire structure overall, right? So that is what something that we want to, we want to discuss, right? So what we want to do is we want to actually uh, discuss what is data warehouse architecture, all right? Okay, so data warehouse architecture. Now, the very first component that comes in data warehouse is basically the source system. So source system is a system from where uh, we actually start anything. So this is the very first system, right? Which is basically the data provider for our ETL process, right? So these systems could be basically internal or external they could be external or internal systems right when i say internal internal means basically the systems which are there within our system and which can actually provide the data for our retail process uh, are the external system uh, maybe some sort of static data or some sort of reference data that you don't have within your company or within your organization and you would need to data for example in finance sector uh, our financial industry, uh, we have uh, something called rating data, right? So rating basically comes from uh, various uh, rating agencies. For example, uh, Fitch, uh, Moody's, and uh, SNP, and all those are the rating agencies, right? Popular rating agencies, which actually provides you data, right? So all the financial uh, industries are the financial related uh, banks basically they heavily depend on the rating provided by all these external agencies right so those are called the external data yeah and we need those data to you know uh, produce or to to process within our system for a uh, uh, as part of our uh, etl process right to make a meaningful uh, extract the meaningful information right so uh, that's about uh, it basically the internal and external uh, data sources now what basically happens here is basically we do the data extraction here right data extraction happens here uh, because this is the etl process right this is the etl process from where actually we uh, source the data right from here source data. and this is basically data extraction only data extraction happen and this is the entire ETL basically ETL external ta extra extraction transformation and loading right now once this process is completed what basically happens after at the end of the ETL process we actually expect a transformed data right transformed data so data is kind of whatever uh, for uh, trans uh, I mean whatever format we need actually that basically transform data is actually loaded into data warehouse right what is this data warehouse then now right uh, this is the focus thing that we want to actually understand what is data warehouse house arch data warehouse architecture right now data warehouse as I said uh, this is another database where basically we store the data in terms of dimensional modeling right dimensional dimension and fact right we have two kind of table fact and dimension and this is the warehouse where we actually store all the historical data everything right so this is very very big database and this is actually designed in such a way that this is more of a more of a read intensive right that is why we do actually dimensional modeling here right so this is also a part of your OLAP system right OLAP system uh, and when you say here we have data sources, right? These are basically the OLTP system. In case we have uh, some databases, etc., so those are called the OLTP, online transactional, uh, online transactional processing, right? But these are basically online analytical processing. Why? Because we actually, uh, what is the purpose of data warehouse? Is actually uh, provide the meaningful information for our reporting, right? So that is the reason it is actually. Uh, design in such a way that it is very faster 
for reading right however it can be slower for the uh, for the writing purpose that is the uh, reason it is designed in a dimensional modeling fashion yeah okay now let's talk about the second one right so what happens after data warehouse we have called the 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 third fourth layer basically it's called the business intelligence layer or bi and analytical layer what exactly we do is basically these are basically tech stack right tech stack we have we have all the tools which are which can actually facilitate for your reporting purpose yeah so these are basically where you can have all our system like reporting system like cognos and uh, others other uh, dashboard etc right basically we actually have it business logic here hmm? business logic business logic is basically written here on this layer okay um, so this is all about that basically and which actually help you for the reporting purpose the whole purpose of this layer is basically to interact with the data warehouse and fetch the meaningful information or get the meaningful information that is actually requested by the end user here yeah that is the whole purpose right so it can be uh, uh, it cannot be only one single direction like for example uh, user is actually sending a request it will go there and it will actually fetch the data from the warehouse right now what is the uh, so hope you are able to understand this right so this is basically uh, the reporting layer where we actually um, do use uh, our uh, various technology uh, etc so that we can actually put the business logic what exactly we need right now data warehouse uh, sorry data access layer what is data access layer guys so data access layer is basically it is something related to security yeah I would say it is something related to security or access access control yeah why it is required because look uh, there is a end user here right so end user can be categorized into several different category right some users might have some sort of data uh, in the data warehouse uh, some uh, they might be given privilege to some of the data not everything etc right so that is the reason data access layer is very important here yeah so that's the purpose of the data access layer um, and i think it's a uh, it's more m more to do with uh, your uh, m interacting and uh, making sure that you know there is no unauthorized uh, access to the data warehouse because this data is very very crucial right the because it 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 can be it is basically help you to take a lot of business decisions right and which cannot uh, go into the wrong hands right so that is the reason this layer is there uh, authentication authorization validation etc happens on this particular layer okay once this is passed to that bi layer it goes there and then it actually fetches the data that is required right again now what is user then right so user is basically the end end users right end users who are those end users who actually want to generate the reports or who want to actually use this data for the analysis purpose right or for the forecasting or business decisions right so they can be also a business analyst right business analysts who are actually who actually can provide some sort of data to the business as well uh, they can actually run all their uh, uh, end user applications right this can be end user application also right users and applications both basically right uh, where they actually um, go and fetch the ui and based on their preferences they will run the reports etc right run reports all those things are taken care under this end user yeah so uh, this is all about basically the data warehouse architecture yeah i try to just uh, explain it hopefully this makes sense and so from uh, this point onward i think you know that these are the various component of a data warehouse right data warehouse and this is the data warehouse architecture yeah so this is just a very high level i know but uh, then uh, you know it's, it's very important that you understand what is happening within your project also right there could be some other layers as well okay but this is something that uh, that generally we should have all this layer there could be some uh, tweak within your uh, project as well uh, but then yeah i mean roughly these are the components that you will find in data warehouse right so that's all for this video guys and i hope that this is helpful and uh, added some uh, you know 
some knowledge to your um, your learning yeah so yeah i think uh, we'll see you in the next video until then happy learning god bless you bye